My art form all my life has been architecture. It has taken me all this time to become the maker of space that I am. My strength is drawing, drawing, making marks, usually with my ebony pencil, is linked with my thinking. When I think thoughts, I draw thoughts. Visible marks come with words I think. I have drawn, drawn, drawn all my life. It was in the early 1960s that uh, the people in my office got hold of me. I was wandering about somewhere in New York, and they said, Victor, you have to call uh, a man named Carell Yasko called you from Washington, very important. We would like you to be the design architect for the United States Tax Court building. And uh, I mean, I was, uh, you know, deeply honored. I remember uh, standing in front of the site and the original obvious uh, image was of a big block of stone. Color was involved, not involved, but just thinking as a sculptor. And because of my early training as a Beaux-Arts architect, I, I was sort of used to the idea of uh, first impressions uh, and thinking what kind of, you know, just out of the blue making an image. And, uh, there were four elements, the re recalled judges and the block in the back. And I think that's where the idea of breaking the block apart and, and uh, separating them inside with, with uh, an emptiness, uh, no detail beyond that. I'm very proud of the color of the granite. I, I, I think it's... Uh, uh, it's from uh, North Carolina, and uh, and the entire, all of the volumes are sheathed in uh, uh, three-inch slabs of uh, uh, flame-treated uh, royal pearl granite. Uh, and I wanted a, a, a color beyond just uh, an off off white natural materials and using wood was an important part of you know humanizing the austerity of the concrete and granite from the outside i didn't want an impenetrable hostile block the, the solution to the cantilever is that it is anchored back to the anchor block in the back separated by space, public hall, by these two uh, slabs, which have uh, uh, wonderful pre-stressed cabling in them. Uh, this is in compression, 40 feet wide, and the 40 foot wide uh, dimension respects the uh, typical uh, judges uh, chambers, which are 40 feet wide, all of them consistently separated by these concrete walls, which have steel cabling in them and uh, a 20 foot wide slab of concrete which is in tension anchored to this block. And then to give it further support, these end walls continue and one can see that happen from here and anchor to the uh, recall wings. And so there are really four uh, separate identifiable uh, buildings here. I am very proud of the decision uh, made uh, attempting to express the sophisticated structural ideas that are in inherent in how this came and, and hiding them and screening them in beautiful ways so all of the secrets aren't revealed. It's, it's part of the uh, 
you know, magic, I think, of how you feel when you walk through it and work uh, in it. I think uh, uh, it's a building of its time and it's sort of uh, timeless.